Welcome back everyone to Poppin' Often with Lofton. Today, 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 we're gonna give you five more tips to make you a better racer in Disney Speedstorm. Whether you bought the game and you're looking to get better or you're new and you're trying to make sure that you're ready once you pop in, I got the tips for you. Make sure you keep it locked and loaded on my channel. That way you'll be notified for everything Disney Speedstorm. Let's start off with tip number one. Ramps do not give you nitros. Most kart games, ramps will give you nitros, but in this game, ramps will not give you nitros even if you do tricks. However, if you are already boosting, if you're already using your nitros, ramps will stall your nitros and they'll give you just a smidge when you land. So sometimes it's better to just not go on the ramps entirely to continue to maintain your speed. Number two, only speedsters get nitros from pads. So again, in most kart games, you know, you're usually used to going over the pad and getting yourself some nitros. In this game, again, you do not get nitros unless you're a speedster. If you are a speedster, one of these characters that are meant to be fast, you get nitros every single time you go on the pad. If you can go on the pad consecutively, you can chain your nitros and you basically have nitros for like 40, 50 seconds. However, if you're any other class, you do not get nitros, and even if you're boosting, you do not get nitros. The only reason why this is kind of okay is because speedsters usually have bad overall speed. So if they're not constantly chaining their speed, they're most likely not going to be an efficient speedster racer. So it is a downside to that. Number three, rails will not give you nitros. If you use your nitros and you're going on a rail to try to gain more, it won't give you more, no matter what class you are. You, the only time you can get nitros from rails if you're not boosting at all. So this is a great way to get nitros if you run out, but do not use your nitros and ride the rail at the same time. It's much better for you to try to drift that way you can chain more nitros and get more out of it. If you nitros on a rail, it's not gonna help you. That leads me into my tip number four. When I said it's not gonna help you, boost in this game do not stack. They do not stack, they do not stack, they do not stack. In every kart racer, your brain is like, go on the pads, it makes you faster. In this game, the vi it's visual. If you turn the cinematic camera off, you might not notice the speed boost, but it's visual. It's going to, it makes you feel you're going faster. But if you pay attention to that speedometer in the corner, it is actually the same exact speed. So if I'm nitrosing on a pad and I'm not a speedster, I'm not getting any nitros and I'm not going any faster. Some of these tracks make you go out of your way to get onto that pad, right? If you already have your boost, if you already got top speed, just cut the corner and don't go on the pad. You're gonna be able to clear the course faster. You're gonna be able to get first a lot more. A lot of players, again, tend to go on those pads because they think it's the thing to do. You can ignore the pads. You can ignore the ramps. You can also ignore the rails because boosts do not stack. And the last but not least, number five, boost can be interrupted. So this means if you crash into a wall, if you get hit by an item, if someone knocks into you, it will be interrupted. There's even some characters like Mickey who have a boost in their ultimate, but that will cancel the boost you're using. So make sure before you do anything that associates you with boost, try to run out of boost so you're not stacking the boost. They do not stack. The two arrow power up, if you hold it and charge it, it will put you over the threshold for your speed. So keep that in mind. If you can hold that power up, it will put you over the threshold because it's boost on top of your boost. It isn't a consistent boost, it's a burst. So if you're gonna use that power up and charge it, make sure you're already boosting to get the most out of that power up. Try to offset the boost so you are boosting consistently. This game rewards boosts consistently. They do not reward just burst movement speed because that is not how it works. You wanna try to spread out the speed so that way you're always as fast as possible. So this is another five tips and tricks for Disney Speedstorm. Again, if you guys enjoy, make sure you hit that thumbs up, but also make sure you subscribe that way you're notified for everything Disney Speedstorm. Updates, guides, gameplay, everything Disney Speedstorm is coming your way. Make sure you like so I know you like it and make sure you subscribe so you're always notified. Again, I appreciate you guys watching and until next time, you know what I always say. Thank you guys for doing what? Popping often, we'll often. Wow.